hello viewers you're welcome to my youtube channel this is game easy please if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel do that by clicking the subscribe button like this video share and leave a comment so i'll be explaining the chemistry practical question so here's a sample question for the qualitative analysis you'll be provided with cn cn is a mixture of two substances is a mixture of copper sulfate a crystalline blue solid and uh, glucose all right so cn will be a mixture of copper sulfate and glucose so major one spatula spoon of copper sulfate into a boiling tube and then one spatula spoon of glucose into a boiling tube same boiling tube so you mix them together you observe that it is it has uh, the physical appearance is light blue in color i'm using a boiling tube so that it will be very visible for you you can use a test tube so here's like a sample question you might be expecting. It says, you are provided with a sample labeled CN. CN is a mixture of two substances. Carry out the following test on CN and record your observations and inferences in the spaces provided. So you'll be you might be testing for copper, for sulfate, and then for glucose. To test for glucose, we use the normal failing solution to test for glucose. All right, so now... Um, put all of CN in a test tube, stir and add about 5 cm cube of distilled water. Test with litmus paper and divide it to 4 portions. So, these are the likely test tissue you might be asked to run on CN. First, it says uh, CN plus distilled water. Take note, CN is a mixture of two substances, copper sulfate and glucose, which are both soluble in water. Alright, so CN will dissolve in water to give a clear light blue solution all right this light blue this blue color is uh, a characteristic property of copper it is the copper that gives it that light blue um color all right so cn is soluble in water now if you test cn with litmus paper it will turn blue litmus paper to red because of uh, cn uh, copper sulfate is a sort of a strong acid so it will turn blue litmus paper to red so the solution is acidic so make an aqueous solution of CN, you will observe that it will dissolve to give a light blue solution. So CN is soluble salt. Right, CN plus flame. CN will burn in flame to give a green color. So it burns with a green color in flame. And that's one characteristic property of copper. There's a flame test for copper. When you start copper in flame, it burns with a green color, which confirms the presence of copper. So CN plus flame, it burns with a green flame, confirming the presence of copper. And then CN plus sodium hydroxide in drops. If you add sodium hydroxide in drops, it gives a light blue gelatinous precipitate. All right. So sodium hydroxide in drops with CN gives a light blue gelatinous precipitate and um, in essence the precipitate is insoluble in essence this confirms the presence of copper that's one qualitative analysis of copper so we'll go further by dividing cn into four different test tubes i'm using a boiling tube so that it will be visible for you then to the first one we we'll add sodium hydroxide in drop you will observe a light blue gelatinous precipitate all right is a light blue gelatinous precipitate which is insoluble in excess confirming the presence of copper and um cn plus ammonia in drops also gives a light blue gelatinous precipitate and in excess this precipitate will dissolve to give a deep blue solution this confirmed the presence of copper all right so we test with ammonia ammonia in drops gives a light blue gelatinous precipitate then in essence it dissolves to give a deep blue solution the precipitate dissolves in essence to give a deep blue solution As you can see, then this other test here is test for sulfate. 
all right first cn you add dilute hydrochloric acid to cn the function of adding it first is to remove interfering ions and after that you add barium chloride when we add barium chloride to the solution it called this barium combined with the sulfate to give you barium sulfate which is a white precipitate all right it gives you a white precipitate all right so the inference is uh this white precipitate could be as a result of sulfite sulfate sulfide or um, carbonate now to further confirm if it's as a result of any of this you add dilute hcl which in addition of um, dilute hcl the precipitate is insoluble confirming the presence of sulfate so cn plus little quantity of hcl to remove interfered ions and then we add barium chloride in drops it gives a white precipitate as you can see this white precipitate is insoluble in excess dilute hcl which confirms the presence of sulfate in excess the precipitate remains on the then test for reducing sugar CN plus failing reagent. All right, failing reagent, it comes as in a mixture of, uh, it comes in A and B. All right, so what you would do is uh, mix the failing solution A and the failing solution B equal mixture, equal volume. So you can take like 10 or 15 cm cube of failing solution A and 10 cm cube of failing solution B and add them together. All right. Then once you've mixed failing A and B together, add it to your CN. Add a little quantity to your CN. Then you eat it. On eating, a brick red precipitate is formed. That brick red precipitate confirms the presence of a reducing sugar suspected to be glucose. So this failing solution A, you may add 10 cm cube of it. Also with failing solution B. We measure at 10 cm cube of it, we mix it together to test for reducing sugar. Then we add it to the sample containing glucose and then we eat. It gives a brick red precipitate confirming the presence of a reducing sugar suspected to be glucose. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video.